I start with you. How impressive is this from Russ? Uh, this is so impressive to me. Um, people want to water down the fact that, you know, triple-double and people are getting numb to the triple. I don't know why. Uh, why are you getting numb to it? Because of who's doing it? <laughs> Um, if, if there was somebody else doing it, it might be. I, I, I think there's a, a love-hate relationship with Russell Westbrook and the media. Um, I think that if anybody else was doing this, they would be uh, put on a pedestal and celebrated. And I think the, the reason because of who he is and how he handles himself, uh, the media tends to kind of dim the light that is shining on him hmm. and, and don't and, and really doesn't want to give him his credit because I mean if it was so easy then everybody would be trying you know people talk about stat stuff and right oh they're just stat chasing everybody in the league stat chasing how you think you get paid mm -hmm. having stats <laughs> so everybody's stat chasing he's the only one that's able to do it mm -hmm. and if it's so easy go to the rec center and get a triple double I could I go to triple <laughs> it's hard it's hard you need guys to you have to have a unique ability to get for to 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 get the 10 assists to lead guys in the, in the baskets. That is an art form. Yep. That is a talent in its own. In the last three years, where's he ranking assists? This season first, last season first, 2016, 2017, third, right? And in those same years, right, he was 10th in rebounding. So he's top 10 in assists and rebound. It is, rebounding is another art form. Mm -hmm. You have to know how that ball comes off the rim. Right. You have to want to go get that yeah, ball. So those two things in itself shows that that's why he's, doing what he's doing. He is he is uh, not only talented offensively the way he is, but he has a knack to get guys, uh, get, lead guys into baskets. You look at what he does this year with Paul George. People asked him to stop shooting so much. He took his shots down, and he's been facilitating more. Mm -hmm. And people are now poking holes in the fact that his shooting percentage went down. Well, when you change a game, right, sometimes you come off, if he's used to just shooting the ball, now he has to think about it. Now that could throw your shooting percentage, just your rhythm off. That half-second thought can throw your rhythm off, throw your shots off. And once that happens, it becomes a snowball effect. You don't see the ball going in. It becomes mental at times. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, this is, I mean, fantastic. This is going to go down years from now. It's like everything else. Like when people are gone and you appreciate them more. Mm -hmm. and I think once Russ leaves the game, then people are going to be like, wow, what he did was crazy. Yep. I agree. But I believe just over the last couple of years, it's lost its luster. That once he did it, because no one thought he would do what Oscar did, once he did it, Skip, kind of the luster kind of gone away. But why? Because, and I think it's more commonplace now. We see Alfred Payton have five straight games with, with, with triple-double. We're like, who? We see a guy, uh, uh, the guy that was in the G League, Jones, he gets 16 rebounds. I think the, the most impressive thing, because of the space, because of the way the floor is spaced and the pace of the games, the rebounds in Russell is all hustle. So he's hustling, getting those rebounds. I agree, the, 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 the assist total, guys have to make shots. I don't care what anybody says. You're like, oh, he put him in great position. Yeah, but if he's missing shots, he's missing layup, he's missing a jumper, it's not that easy. But to your point, I think the, his shot selection and his shooting percentage, they're looking at it like, yeah, he had 18 points, but he shot 8 of 28 to get that 28, to get those 18 points. Mm -hmm. And people look at that and they criticize it. But I think it's very impressive. It's not easy. If it was easy, everybody would be getting the amount of triple-doubles that he is. But I think the fact that we see more people getting those, mm. not, as, not as, as, as often as Russ does, mm. but because they are, is taking something away from it. Not for me. I'm with Eddie House on yes. this one. It is staggering, and it gets more and more staggering by the game and yeah. by the year. Oh, it's impressive. For a 6'3 guy mm. to keep averaging 10 rebounds a game is impossible. Yeah. For real. It can't happen. Mm. Will Chamberlain was the big dipper. He was 7 feet 1 inches <laughs> tall. He could just roll out of bed and get 15 or 20 rebounds. Yes. Just by standing under the basket, he got rebounds. This guy, the, the energy it takes, mm -hmm. the scrap it takes, the, the, the hustle and muscle. He That's the most muscle. impressive thing with me about Ooh, him. Wow. Is that the energizer bunny fight, every night. To, to fight for that many yep. rebounds, and you got to do it every night for 82 games, you're going to average 10 rebounds? That's impossible. Yep. And I'm with you. Some 20 years from now, you're going to look back, and I don't know how long he's going to be able to sustain this because he's like playing football. He, right. He's playing NFL. It's, it's about as close to – he's taking high contact every night because he's diving for loose balls, and, and he is crashing, literally crashing the backboards with the big guys mm -hmm. inside. So 40, 50 years from now, people look back and say, how did he do that? Mm -hmm.
Like LeBron, as great as he is, he's six feet nine, but he's not going to average ten rebounds a game. He just doesn't do it. No. And people okay? say, oh, LeBron could average triple double. Well, I need to see it. Yeah. You know, okay. show me. Show yeah, me. I, I, I'm not saying that he possibly can't. I think he has all the skills. You know what? I to think do he it. could have. I don't know he, he could do it now. But if he he should he, he should have went point. Got it. LeBron is more of a three-point shooter, a sister. Like yeah. he's the, the greatest thing LeBron does is look Drive over the defense kick. and just just two skip. hand just mm-hmm. throw it a, like a skip pass, mm-hmm. like completely across the zone, right. you know, like a, through the lane and across yeah. for an open shooter. Yes. Well, the open shooter's got to make the shot, or you don't get Correct. an assist. Correct. Right. Russ is more crashing. He he's more attacking, and he learned after a while I can just leave it on the floor, and Stephen Wallace can just Stephen Adams, Stephen Adams right. can just dunk it, or any of their big guys can just dunk it. Yep. And that's where he's getting – he's cashing easier assists than LeBron right. is yeah. to me. But the, but the novelty is gone, Skip, because once he did it, yeah. not everybody just expects him to do it, so it's not even – they're like, okay, yeah, we got it. But that's my thing. Why is the novelty gone, though? Because he did it one year? Because oh, Oscar didn't do it only that, that one year. Right. Then it was just like folklore, like, oh, my God, a yeah. triple-double, this dude, it'll never happen again. Right. And because he went and did it the one year – People are like, oh, okay, it happened. It loses. I don't see how it loses its luster. It should still be celebrated. I don't care if Alfred Payton had five straight. Put another man on the moon. Uh, Okay. Okay. You talk about Alfred Payton with the five straight triple. Yeah, Yeah, he balling. But to do it for a season, that's totally different from a stretch. A week. What what was Russ's rep and rap early on? He's a gunner. He's selfish. He's he's just a two-guard, you know, he's a, a point guard Master, he's a yeah, two guard like mastering as a point. Right. As, as a two guard, and he took more shots a couple of years than Kevin Durant took, and all of a sudden he just reinvented himself. Is he ego maniacal? Is he going for stat stuff? Yes, I get that, but it also contributes to winning basketball games if you're going to average the the best in the league assists. Right? Yeah, you know what? And, and I'm glad you said that in the winning games. The last three seasons when he had a triple double, they're 75 and 24, That's 70, winning 75 percent of your games, right? Okay. So I'm I'm saying. It translates to winning. Yeah, I get it. They need him to do this to win. I'm, I'm sorry. And, and that, that's a pace. In 82 games, if you average that out, that'll be a 62-win pace okay. in an 82-game season. Okay, just for objectivity, do I love the fact that his shooting stats have fallen each of these years? Right. I, I don't get it because he went from 35% three-point shooting to, um, I'm sorry, 34% to 30 to 29. Free throws go from 85% to 74 this year, 66. I don't know what happened there, but again, you're counterbalancing with all the other productivity. Right. I think you could get that. You could get. He's shown that he could sh- he could shoot the free throws. He could shoot yeah. free throws. This is this. I think when you are changing a game, I said it earlier. When you are, are changing your game to to cater to other players, you know, you like okay, you're aware that I have to get this guy off now. Yeah. You're not just coming off free and like whatever I want to do. You have half a second he is of at the three point line. You know, I mean, at times and he, he pulls it up from the three. The he age ain't nothing he to is, but with that. He is though, and he, he but he has to though. You have to keep guys honest too, because if he if he's shooting as bad as he is, guys lay off and he doesn't shoot it. The pick and roll, you're not gonna get nothing out of. So he has to shoot it to make sure that the guy is at least respecting like, that. So now you get the pick and roll. He come downhill. That's when you get the, I ain't the got drop no off to Stephen Adams. Range game, but you shooting twenty nine percent. You shouldn't shoot ten. But you have to game. shoot them just to keep them. On, you have to. You got to keep them honest. That's what the game is now. You have to keep him honest. And, I mean, you know what? If it's working and it's effect, he's not knocking down shots, but they're still winning. Shannon, you, you, have, you have a point where he, it is some detriment to them. Because right. look at his PER, with yeah. player efficiency rating. Two years ago, he led the league in PER, which is huge. Yeah. It's hard, man. And now it's dropped all the way to 36 this year. And it's just because he's shooting too many yeah, misses. It's, it's, you know? Well, it's like this. I much, I, I'd rather have a guy that you got to say, hey, let's wheel it in and try to light a fire on the yeah. channel. Let's get going. Oh, I ain't got no so, problem. I mean, I love watching him play. I know what I'm going to get. I'm talking he about even as far me. as his shots and stuff like that. You know, I think he he plays so hard and want to win. You can see it in, in, in how he approaches every single game. I mean, every game is almost like his last game ever playing. Hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. So how he – I think he wants to win so – and a lot of people do this. Want to win so bad and it, it could be a detriment to the team because you're doing a little extra. Mm. Right. That's mm. interesting. I want to see OKC draw Golden State. I don't. I do. Oh. It's over. I don't want to see the guard go down. It's over. It I want to see the Spurs. They got enough threes. Mm. I want to see I the Spurs know. draw Houston. That's what I want to see. Okay. Well, you got it. Yeah, I'm going to give you two. <laughs> That's what he Spurs wants to Spurs might be over Houston's cases. knee. Hmm? Spurs, they, uh, Houston might put the Spurs over their knee. Wop, 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 wop. Old you fashioned. Keep talking. Keep talking. <laughs> I'm just saying. Wop, wop. Derek White, first team all point guard defense. First where, team. Where are you from? First team. Pac 12. 
guys are Colorado, hard on the Pac-12, Pac-12, baby. Okay. Oh, yeah, boy. First team point guard. Patrick Beverly is the best at the bus sorry. on ball point guard. Sorry. You, you just you – Mr. 94. Mr. 94, they call him. You got to watch Derek Mr. White. Mr. 94. I told you the Spurs go as Derek White goes. He won't even let Derek White get the ball at the court. Oh, okay. oh Derek White got height hide over him, too. Mm-hmm. Derek White can hoop. He can ball. Hoop. Good stuff. Thank you for joining us today. for sure. All right. 